Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be exploring all of Diamond City. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to go talk to Nat. Who's really in control of Diamond City? Read the public. Ain't got nothing better to do? Nat. Hey, mister. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Thanks. Now let's go up to the mayor's office. Maybe constantly trying to kill us, but... Commonwealth never lacks for excitement. Mayor's in no mood to talk about any of this synth nonsense. Unless you're looking for a housing permit, I can't help you. W wait what was that about synths? Oh, no. I'm not saying anything. I like my job, thank you very much. And you are? Geneva, the mayor's secretary. I handle all the day-to-day. -day. I'm looking for work. Mercenary type? We usually have a few open bounties. Just check the wanted posters in the market. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town, right near the market. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Tell me more about this house. The previous owner bought an adjacent warehouse and knocked down a few walls, so it's bigger than most. And he left behind his old tools, so you'll have everything you need to modify the inside however you see fit. So the house costs 2,000 caps, totally up to you if you want to buy it or not. I'm going to go ahead and buy it, but you don't have to. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of it's his, solemn. her Get and her perfect you. hair. Mm-hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Around here, we call your haircut the scav special. Little flecks of blood, give it the personal touch. You should think about getting a trim. <clears throat> you there, talk some sense into my net with son. McDonough's secretary, is she a synth? What? You know what a synth is, right? Those machine people the Institute makes looks and acts just like the real thing. Only I think they made Geneva a little too perfect. No woman looks like she does, all perky. So she's a synth, right? She has to be. Back up. What's the Institute? Oh, my God, really? What hole did they drag you out of, Southie? The Institute are the ones who kidnap people, replace them with sense? Not that McDonough would ever admit it. Paper's right about him. Are you going to answer my question? 
Geneva. Is she a synth? No idea. You don't know? What? Born without a brain between your ears? You Please, just said minute, that no one could tell the difference, Ma. Here. He don't know if Geneva's a synth, and neither do you. So could you lay off? Don't you talk to your mother that way, Johnny. For your hair, I'm thinking highlights. Or we could try a short shave on the sides. Or uh, maybe some braids. Uh, hmm. What are my options? You name it. Shaves, long cuts, short cuts, braids, layering. Yeah, be easier just to show you. Got an empty chair right here. So I'm going to cut my hair and actually trim my beard and everything. I'll see everybody in just a moment. Sounds good. You're going to look great. Sit down. Don't mind my ma. She's always a little bit cranky. Let's just focus on you and that lovely head of hair. Hey. Hey, you were in the paper, people? right? You're 200 years old? Looking pretty good for your age, huh? Hey, swatta swatta, swatta can hit! Boom! Need some custom hard... Uh, hello. Have you been here before? What's it matter? Because Fallon's isn't a charity. The clothes are for sale if you have the money. No lifting. All right? You have some kind of problem with shoplifters? Nothing me and my 10-gauge haven't been able to handle. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Fallon's Basement. Interesting name. Yeah, it's ancient. There was a Fallon's here back even before the war. Granddad always said we had a tradition of quality and affordability. Guess affordability got too expensive for some folks. Damn thieves. And it ain't like Diamond City Security helps. Why doesn't Diamond City Security help you? <sighs> My husband got taken, all right, by the Institute. Security wouldn't look into it. I raised a stink, and now I'm blacklisted. Your husband was taken by the Institute? Well, he ain't here anymore, that's for sure. Not like the Institute leaves a trail besides those damn synths. What do you know about synths? Just what I read in the papers. That the Institute builds them, and some even look human. So much you can't tell the real difference. Lucky me, huh? Institute takes my Charlie, doesn't even bother replacing him. Not right now. Fine. Take it outside. Don't move, synth! What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a synth! Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! Put the gun down, now! He's a synth! He'll kill us all! Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City, hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. Hey. I need you to step away, Scabber. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Officer? Hey. Told you to move along. Find somewhere else to gawk. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? Just go about your business like nothing happened. Better that way. What's My everyone God. still standing around for? Kyle. Go back to your own damn business. Going to waste otherwise. We're going to talk to Sheffield. Hopefully, everybody has a Nuka Cola on them along with a bloat fly gland. If you don't, go get one. Either go buy a Nuka Cola 
or go find a bloat fly gland. If you have a Nuka Cola at your uh, settlement, go get it from there. And yeah, so let's talk to Sheffield. You okay? So thirsty. Doctor says I can't drink liquor no more. Cola. Need a Nuka Cola. Cola. Nuka Cola. Here you go. Real sweet of you. Ah, <gasps> oh, thank you. Thank you. Hey, Sheffield. What do you think about coming to work for me? Really? You. you mean it? That's right. Okay, I'll. I'll do it. <clears throat> you there! You need a genuine, authentic, custom made hickory swatter. What's a swatter? <laughs> Rookie, eh? A swatter, my friend, is a Diamond City tradition. See, it used to be that this whole place was a stadium, and two teams would meet and play a game called baseball. One team would beat the other team to death with these things called baseball bats, and, and the best bats were called swatters. True fact. Look, dumbass, that's not how baseball was played. That right, Mr. Smarty Pants? Hey, if you're such an expert, how do you think it was played? There were balls, strikes, three bases, and home runs. You kept score by how many runners made it to home plate. Huh. Sounds almost elegant. You sure that's baseball? I like my version better. Now, can I interest you in these genuine, authentic, custom-made hickory swatters? Got any work? Well, if you want to help the sport, I got a lead on a stash of pre-war collector's items. Coach, quitting his for punks western, had an estate not too far from here. Legend says when he retired, the league presented him with a baseball, catcher's mitt, and playing card signed by all the other coaches. See where I'm going with this? I'll pay 100 caps each for those relics. What do you say? A card, a mitt, and a ball. Got it. I thank you. And baseball thanks you. <clears throat> it's the new guy. That's you, right? The new guy? Word kind of travels fast in Diamond City. What can I say? Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. So you know weapons, huh? Listen, I can sell you guns, swords, whatever. And they'll keep you alive for sure. But the real secret is in the mods. The little personal touches. Install a scope, expand the clip size, whatever. You spend time with your gear, and you'll have the right answer to every problem. Anyway, let's get back to you and what kind of protection you need. Not now. Well, we're always here. Excuse me. You? I, I don't know you. Just keep your distance. Why? Because I don't know you, and I will not serve a synth pretending to be human. So are you human? Human as the day I was born. Well, you do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. I have eyes like a... Well, they're good eyes. Got it? All right. We can do business, but no funny stuff. Not looking to buy right now. All right. Right here's home plate. We're going to go inside just to complete the quest. Grab up some of this stuff here. If you need to rest, you can rest in here as well. Also, there's a Nuka Cola in here. So if you don't have one for Sheffield, you can always grab one in here. I 
ain't telling you how to pick your friends, but Piper's kind of a troublemaker. Hey, man. Got a lot of chems here if you need something to help you relax. Did you say something about drugs? That's right. All the chems you need to fill out your lifestyle. Balance you out. Everyone here buys from me. Sometimes security needs a little psycho, or an engineer needs some Mentats. And heck, Rad X is plain universal. Looking for a job, if you got one. Yeah, I got something. Looking for a mutated fern, if you find any. I hear some grows out near Forest Grove Marsh. Natural radiation sucker. Be great for cooking Rad X or Radaway. Mutated fern. Sounds good. Cool. A new patient. A new file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about our facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? What's that? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. So what kind of treatments are common around here? Bandaging wounds and cleaning radiation exposure are the most common things you outsiders usually ask for. That and kicking a chem habit. Not interested. Fine. A new face. Strong, but not perfect. For a nominal fee, Doc Crocker can give you the looks you've only dreamed about before. Wait, what are you gonna do to me? I'm proposing surgery. Not just any surgery. Facial reconstruction surgery. Safe and instantaneous. New jawline, new eye color. Remove scars, add scars. A new you, a more Perfect, you. Not today. No? All right. Time for a pop quiz, everyone. Ah, uh, But Mr. Zwicky, we had a pop quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce that knowledge with a little quiz. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a nice degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait? <sighs> all right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yes! Yay! Ain't you a little old to be in school? Right here, we're going to pick up a Live and Love magazine. Hell yeah. This is a good magazine if you're using robots, like maybe Codsworth, or eventually you can get a robot companion, like build your own robot companion from the Automatron DLC. So this isn't a bad magazine to have. That one worth reading? Do you need oh, any help with wow. your assignment? You're tall. Do you know I that think I got it. Is right. my Brahmin have two heads? It's true. You should always feel free to ask questions. Ah, a new scholar come to join us. Let's test your math skills. What is 12 times 15? Is it 180? That's right. I see your parents raise you with a respect for your education. Family. It is important, yes? This thing called love. I hear the children talk about. I think they need that to learn. What would a robot know about love? I... I don't know. Actually, I have one more question before you leave. It's not another quiz. I just... I don't get to talk to many adults. This love I hear about, do you think you can have it for someone, even if the two of you are very, very different? If you love someone, hold on to them. 
Tomorrow you might not have the chance. I... thank you. You have helped me make up my mind about something. Miss Edna, you drink water do you out in the common ways? Oh, you get sick. That's what my friend like Shane told me. To me. I'm so happy seeing you all grow and learn year after year. What about Mr. Zwicky? Is he like family too? Like a husband? I am, um, uh, well, we are colleagues. We spend a lot of time together, yes? But that's all. Let's go behind here. If you need mute fruit for your settlements, this is the best place to get it, along with Tato's. By the way, I didn't explain that magazine, Live and Love, very well. It increases your robot companion's damage by 5%. That's why I said it's really good to have if you have even like Kiri or anybody like that. Or uh, Codsworth or a robot companion in general. Everybody, everybody, I need everyone's attention. I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall, our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other, the faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. Don't touch the paint. What? Why? This is the wall. The great green guardian that keeps out the bad guys. Uh, no one's broken through the wall. Never. Least we can do for her in return is keep her looking pristine. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town. Rune store close by to the west. Bring back a can of paint and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? What can you tell me about Hardware Town? Raiders moved in a ways back. Security says they can't handle them. That's why I'm running low. So, you still up for it? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. We're going to come over here and talk to Shang. Shang, what have I told you about keeping the lake clean? Don't make me shut down this little stand of yours. Every drop of water that comes out of that filter is 100% pure. Why is a legitimate businessman like myself always got to be hassled by city regulation, huh? It's a health hazard, Shang. It's a profit hazard is what I say. I manage the water. And I'll do it without your interference, thank you very much. Water! Get your fresh water I hear there's a here. bar in the old theater district that's for raiders only. The combat zone. I'd stay clear if I was you. Hey there, purified water. You won't find this out on the Commonwealth. You by yourself out here? That's right. Been on my own since I was eight. I'm a fully independent man. Got my own place. Go to night classes. The whole shebang. Now, how about I get you a bottle of water, huh? 
Anything I can do to help out? Ah, the industrious type. Want to help me clean out the water supply? You won't believe the junk people throw in there. Overloads the filters. What kind of stuff is down there? You're looking for big things. Anything around the size of a book, usually. I'm on it. Just don't drown. I'll never clean your carcass out of there. Let's go ahead and go to our pit boy. We're going to go down to miscellaneous. Put on clean the water supply. Now let's take some radix. Very important to take some radix when you're jumping into uh, water. You want to get out of here? I don't think we'd make pretty ghouls. <sighs> don't be a moron. Stock up on fresh water today. <sighs> How clean the water is now. Good job. Here's your pay. Now, how about you pick up some bottles for the road? Not today. Then take a hike. Next up, the science center. This is where we're gonna need the bloat fly gland. Broke up with my girl. She kept the cap off the toothpaste. Know who does that? What have A synth. This whole time? Hey, hey, quiet, all right? Right. Nice. Professor, I have a new theory about how the Institute makes the synths. Oh, no. We've been talking about this, remember? After last time, the shouting, me sleeping on the cold floor of the lab for three nights. That was your choice. And seriously, growing synths from the ground using recombinant plant nuclei? I mean, how... Could they even? Ah, uh ha! -huh. You do want to talk about it. Uh, oh, look, we have a visitor. Dr. Duff, dear, if you could bother them while I walk away from this conversation. Hi there. Are you here for today's free biology lesson? Biology lesson? That's right. Usually the kids from the schoolhouse are the first to drop by, but I don't see why I can't start the lesson with you. Now, we all talk about radiation like it's a single thing, but it's actually a term referring to dozens of different ionizing rays. You have X-rays, beta rays, gamma rays, but which one are we most worried about? The one most associated with the big old bombs 200 years ago. Gamma rays? That's right. Now, gamma rays are bad, really bad. If your body absorbs too much of that kind of radiation, you'll suffer from fatigue, anemia, even death. But some life forms have been living with gamma radiation exposure for two centuries now, and they've adapted. Neat, huh? What kinds of things have adapted to radiation? Oh, that's the perfect segue into the field trip portion of the lesson. Are you ready? Field trip? That's right. You go out, do some science of your own, and come back. I usually have a prize for the best junior scientist, which I guess is just automatically going to you. What do you say? Sign me up. You're gonna go out and find a bloat fly gland. You see, the oversized bloat fly of today evolved from an earlier species of a smaller fly. Radioactive adaptation has resulted in a unique gland that enables it to balance and maintain speed despite its size. So what do you say? Ready to go out and dissect one? I think I have something already. That a boy? Who's my favorite junior scientist? You are. Here's a little something for you. Don't spend it all in one place. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in, and that's the bulls. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. <coughs> Kim I care cares about you. All your medicinal needs. Vadim, Vadim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yetim. I am in middle of story. So then I am crossing river, right? Wearing nothing but a smile. When the outcomes, the most 
dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk. A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Vajim! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yakfin. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. You there. We need to have a conversation. Do I know you? No. But I've heard of you. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. What's the job? I don't know yet. Whatever needs to be done once my boss has had a look at you, I can assure you that it will be dangerous. And that you'll be paid fairly. I live for danger. Where do I sign up? I like your enthusiasm. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Hey there. What's your story? Mercenary? Caravan guard? You first. What's your name? Hawthorne. And you are definitely from out of town. I know every settlement from both sides of the Charles River, and I've never seen you. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over. Seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me. You don't want to know what they're capable of. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. See you around, Hawthorne. Later. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no, I kid, I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother, Yefim, and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers uh, had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Don't need anything today. You sure? Ah, well. Hey, you're that vault dweller from the paper. Hey, Scaver. Got plenty of Brahmin meat on the hooks. Wait, what kind of meat is this? You never heard of Brahmin? Big, dumb, got four legs and two heads. They're the only cattle around. Everything's fresh from the Codman family farms. Sometimes, we get weird stuff from the caravans, too. Weird stuff? Weirder than two-headed cow meat? Yeah, Prince Charming. Weirder than that. Mirelurk bloat flies, rad stags. It's all protein, right? Ain't like you can be picky in the Commonwealth. Not looking to buy right now. <sighs> Ever seen a Mirelurk? Think a crab, cross with a tank. Another glass you think of a good water. neighbor? Certainly. Friggin' hole. Ghouls and chemheads all over. Uh, this is what I like about you, Wellingham. You know what you are. Not trying to be anything other than helpful. Uh, not like those people down there. Lower field workers always want what they haven't earned. Oh, an astute observation, sir. Let me just freshen your glass again. Thank you, Wellingham.
Come on, Darcy, let's go. Take it easy. I don't think she wants to leave just yet. Hey, this is between me and my wife. Why don't you mind your own damn business for once? Oh, God, Paul, why do you always have to make a scene? Pour me another drink, Henry. Damn it, Darcy, I just want you to come home. I'll be home later. I can't believe you'd do this to me, Cook. Do what to you, Paul? You smug bastard. You keep away from my wife, goddammit! You'd better get out of here before you do something stupid. You son of a bitch! Don't hurt him, Henry! <laughs> Go on. Get out of here. I'll be at home, Darcy. Taking care of our son. <laughs> you just walked right up into the stands, didn't you? I like you. Sorry, I had to see that. So Things are usually a lot quieter around here. here. Perfect place to drink, well, if you're buying. Old. <laughs> What was that argument about? Uh, nothing much. You see, Darcy here likes to relax and enjoy life from time to time, and her husband Paul doesn't. He's not a bad guy, really. Just a little uptight. Too bad he can't learn to relax, huh, Darcy? Shut up. I don't come here to talk about Paul. You there! I haven't seen you in here before. Why don't you make yourself useful and buy me a drink or something? You don't look like you need another drink. Aren't you all high and mighty, then? Why don't you get lost so I can drink in peace? Lighten up, Darcy. This isn't your own private bar, no matter what you might think. Now, can I get you something to drink? Not right now. Some other time. Hey! I think those Bulbra brothers are looking for you. We won't be doing that quest today. Probably end up doing it in the next video. Hi. Hey, you there. I, um, I have a question for you. Go ahead. I'm listening. You were in the tap house before when... You and the bartender got in a fight. Nice of you to call it a fight, but we both know what really happened. Cook kicked my ass. I'm supposed to pretend I don't know he's sleeping with my wife. Until he decides he's bored with her and she comes crawling back home to me. Sounds like a tough situation. You don't know the half of it. But I'm not going to just sit here and let Cook steal my wife and destroy my family. I'm going to go back and talk to him and I want you to come with me. You saw? He won't take me seriously otherwise. I don't want to have to really hurt him. I just want him to leave Darcy alone. Okay, I'll help you. Okay, good, good. I'm sure Cook will back down once he sees you're with me. If you're just going to talk to him, why do you need me along? I don't want to hurt Cook, but if he doesn't listen to me, I don't know what I might do. He won't dare act so smug when he sees you at my back, and then nobody has to get hurt. Hey, Paul. Will you help me talk to Cook? Get him to leave my wife alone? Okay, I'll help you. Okay. This'll work better if I talk to Cook by myself. You're probably right. I am so angry at Cook, I might lose control. Just get him to leave Darcy alone. How far do you want me to go? As far as you need to. I don't want him dead, but otherwise, he deserves to suffer for what he's done. We'll do that quest another time as well. Sometimes you gotta wonder, does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean the railroad? Well, that's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah, I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for him. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the Freedom Trail. The hell is that supposed to mean? You're full of it, and that kind of talk is gonna get you snatched up by the synths. You read the paper? Damn synths, hiding among us. Don't bother, pal. I ain't seen nothing. I ain't heard nothing. 
told you your luck wouldn't last forever. His ties. Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... the detective. He's gone missing. Nicky's missing? <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this time? Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but... He just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Who's this Skinny Malone character? I don't know much about him, but he's from Good Neighbor, and that means he's in the well-pressed suits and machine gun school of thuggery. You said Malone's from Good Neighbor? Yeah, it's a tough neighborhood. Northeast a ways. People with power there care about two things, style and body count. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. Nick should be easy to spot. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. Hell yeah. This is the Zeta Invaders holotape game. Huh, wish I'd brought something to peruse myself. Right here, you can read about Nick Valentine investigating the mysterious stranger. Now that we have explored all of Diamond City, there's only one last thing to do. Dad says not to talk to strangers. And that is run all of the bases. So it's true then? You're leading the Minutemen? Good for you. Great cause. So what you want to do is you want to start right here. Diamond City surplus is where you can sell all those scraps you've scattered. Base number one. Hey there, mister. Base number two. Diamond City surplus. Open. You watch your step. You have my eye. Base number three. And then back to home plate. That'll give you the trophy home run. All right, now that that's all been done, let's go into the chapel here and then we'll end the video. Good to see someone new in the chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? This your chapel here, Pastor? Well, that depends. I suppose I should say this chapel really belongs to God. But since I never get around to deciding which God in particular, I guess you could say it belongs to all of them. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. So you don't practice any particular religion here? As long as you believe in something, you're welcome. Diamond City is full of people trying to build a better life. I just don't want them to forget what makes them human while they're at it. So the chapel is open, 24 hours a day, to whatever form of worship you like. Long as it's peaceful. Thanks, Pastor. Feel free to make yourself at home. Alrighty, everyone, I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. 
If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be and you're part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.